Hello and welcome back everyone. Today is April 16th, 2020. I am Jerry Hall and here are my thoughts from Costa Rica. Well, it appears the crypto market's kind of stabilizing a bit. I want to take a quick peek at gold. Nice to see gold get a bump. I think this is uh, indicative of a trend that we're going to see over the next months as we work our way through the knock-on effects of the lockup on a global scale. Now this lockup, you got Jamie Dimon from JP Morgan saying he doesn't believe the economy will reopen until June. Now there's some merit to keeping the lock down in place. There have been instances in countries around the world that have reopened and seen second waves of this crisis rear its ugly head. There's a lot of speculation around this. We're only in mid-April. Obviously, it's a wait and see. My suggestion, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Through Twitter, and, and thank you XRP2020, because I had not caught this through any of my aggregators. And he brought to the forefront this financer, financer, financer interview with Chris Larson. So I went and checked it out and, and it, it's short, very short. You can see here, if you wanna search for it yourself, there it is right there. And it's a, it obviously I believe it was probably done over the phone, transcript was, was put together. And you know, it starts off, it's the basic stuff, you know. For those who haven't heard about Ripple, what's Ripple? Da, 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 da. And I mean, you know, and it's good and it's from Chris's mouth and, and Chris is a very articulate man able to um, describe complex things in a very simple way. But I, I found this down here at the bottom, this last question by the interviewer. He states, one of the biggest issues is in capital markets right now around collateral management and the efficient use of capital and liquidity. I guess what you're saying is that Ripple plays directly to that challenge of the problem of the efficient use of capital. Now, as you hear me read, you can almost see Chris Larson saying this. He says, yes, that's exactly right. Liquidity management is a big cost to banks today. That's intrinsic to the correspondent banking system. Capital outlays for cross-border payments restricts working capital. Imagine if banks don't have to make those outlays and they can instantly and directly transact with the institutions they choose to work with. That's the reality of Ripple today. Not tomorrow. Not in 2025. That's actual functionality of RippleNet today. I just thought I'd bring that up because there is a tremendous amount of disjointed emotion. And rightfully so in that when the XRP token is sitting at almost 19 cents, yet verifiable article after article, conference after conference, we're seeing fundamental foundational news that the Ripple Net Network is growing. 
with value added functionality over and over again, it's hard to understand when does the value of the infrastructure and the service that it provides start to translate into the digital asset native to the XRP ledger? I don't have the answer to that. I do know that there are hard and fast rules, the network effect, Bitcap's law being one of them. When does that kick in? When do things like in the economy, like the Triffin's dilemma, start to kick in? If you're unfamiliar with Medcalf's law, Triffin's dilemma, I will tell you, it'll be the best hour of research in your life to go understand, read up, study, and understand those elements. It's not just a crypto thing. You will gain an understanding to the underlying principles that drive growth. Important stuff, good stuff. This has been a short one today, folks. I didn't want to go off on a rant or a tangent. Keep your head up. Be good to each other. Thank you for tuning in. And from Costa Rica, Pura Vida.